All right, boys. Duncan Temple. Wait, I'm not sure if we have time to do like the bottom part. Cause I think that takes forever, right? You gotta like do the statues in a certain order, and then you gotta go down and kill a boss. I will see. Yeah, yeah, At least we got a group though. They're like Sunken Temple groups are not that easy to come by. What to sell? Devil Sword Gauntlets. Ooh, I need the Devil Sword Gauntlets. That looks pretty good. Legs I can't use yet though. Gotta be level 55. 46 attack power, 1% crit, 2% hit. I wonder how much it costs though. Alright, we're going Sunken Temple, boys. It's happening. We're gonna do as much as we can of it. I got raid in under two hours. It is a pretty big dungeon, right? But you know, with a good group like this, I think we'll be able to do it in time. We have a slow race with the rogue. Nah, no way. I'm not even gonna try. Like the rogue is mainly just for leveling. The plan is to uh, do like some gold farm on it when I need gold. Cause like the problem with my druid is I can't farm gold on it. So my rogue will be able to like kill shit for gold. I'll do dungeons, make gold that way as well. But yeah, we're not really planning on raiding on this guy. I, you know, if there's like a raid that's happening uh few hours, it's not like run by the guild or something, I'll join. Like some optional raid, stuff like that. It's more like a backup character and stuff like that. You guys think anyone's gonna die in ST or is it gonna be easy clap? We got a 58 priest, dude. 55 warlock, 53 warrior, 54 rogue, and 56 warrior. The average level is like... 55 that's pretty good i think i think it's good in this dungeon don't you get mind control and stuff like that's the scary boss there's a boss that mind controls and if someone gets mind control you, you pretty much die there's no counter play to it but if you kill the boss really fast he doesn't mind control we have one guy afk of course can't do dungeons without having some afk guys is this rare hard like it has a lot of health you guys can start, by the way. I'll, I'll, uh, I'm right here. You gotta go fast, man. Like, if, if my raid starts mid run, I gotta leave, by the way. I'm just saying, like, even if it's right before last boss. So, you, you, let's go fast, yeah? We should have enough time, though. And I don't know how it works. Like, can you do the bottom part after you kill the last boss? Because, like, we probably should do it that way, where we, we, we just rush the last boss, and then if there's time, we do the, the bottom part after. I think that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't think you need to do the, the bottom part to summon the last boss. I think that's optional. But I'd be okay with doing it if there's time. You cannot enter the last boss until you kill all the other bosses. Yeah, but that doesn't include the last boss. I mean, the bottom boss. Like, uh, he's not part of that. I think the way it works is... Um, you just have to kill the troll boss. I don't think... Do you even need to kill the feather people, technically? I mean, we will kill them anyway for the quest, but uh, what do I have to do actually as a rogue? I gotta get the Azure key. Where do you get the Azure key? Oh, from a green Drake Morphus. Yeah, that's the bosses before the last boss. Yeah, 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 we're doing that. And I hate, I don't know about you guys, I hate feeling like this though. Knowing that I have a raid and I'm doing a dungeon right before stresses me the hell of it. I, I hate being sandwiched, you know. This happens to in, to me and Rat a lot. So I'm in a Rat raid, and then I have another raid in like an hour. And then like we start wiping, and then the raid takes longer. Right? And then you're just, you know, just leave the guild. Why would I leave my guild, man? Am I gonna leave my guild over Sunken Temple, bro? You should do a challenge sometimes where you're only level in Rat dungeons. I already did that, dude. I soloed BRD and Rat. BRD, Sunken Temple. ZF is like the one that gave me the most uh, hassle though. Like soloing Gasrilla so fin hard. Hitting 60 today? No. I got a raid soon. I think I'm gonna get level 60 on Thursday. Tomorrow I'll probably get like 56, 57. It kind of depends though if we're raiding, right? I want to get 60 on a day where we're not raiding. So I can just focus on it. Dating Bofka spot? No, dude, listen, I, I ain't gonna raid on this rogue, guys. Like, dude, dude, listen, like, by the time this rogue is, is 60 and geared enough for raids, like, I feel like ICC is gonna be pretty close, you know? So I won't really have time to to raid on it, dude. Oh, here are the snake thingies. What the f- Joy is hitting my group and I'm- <laughs> Dude, listen, no one's gonna die tonight, all right? No one's gonna die, bro. Fuck, I'm dying, guys. Oh my god, dude. 
Are you supposed to have aggro as a rogue, guys, in dungeons? Is that normal? I feel like it's very easy to over aggro, man. If you pop your blade flare, you know? Yeah, boy. And you can't really expect the warriors to have aggro. Three. Hello, Yokut. I see you are playing with HC Elite. It's fine. Finish your street, you are no longer wanted in ZG. Have a nice evening. <laughs> Wait, so cause I'm playing with somebody from Hardcore Elite in a dungeon while leveling, I'm betraying the guild? Is that what you're trying to say, bro? You're gonna start try to start some drama, dude? You're gonna go tell Ampy, like, yo, listen, Joker's already playing with Hardcore Elite, man. Like, he's trying to- he's a fucking snake and a rat, dude. All right, get him out of Frontier, bro. Alright, guys, it, it don't work like that, okay? I have nothing against Hardcore Elite. I think they're cool, bro. I used to- you guys know I raided with Hardcore Elite, right? I was in that guild. I'm serious. Like, I, I raided with them for, for a couple- uh, for, for a few months at least. Oh wait, watch out. This boss is insane. Like, he does a lot of damage. I've seen people die to them. I think, like, as a rogue, if you over aggro, you actually die. It's coming, bro. As far as I know, this guy knocks up. Yep. Ooh, nice. Alright, I think we're gonna be more on, more than fine on time here. Like, we already did the bottom part. Got one hour left. Like, I wanna log in like 15 minutes early, but there's no way we don't finish in one hour, right? Just gotta clear all the trash and uh, some more trolls. How many trolls have we killed? Four? Okay. This warrior is carrying. Took boys number one, bro. But, I mean, they are also tanking, so... I I'm gonna be honest, if you're a rogue, dude, and you're in a dungeon, you're probably like... I don't know, I feel like you can be like stoned out of your mind and uh, you're fine, you know, like, you just... You don't have to do much. Unless it's some dungeon where you have to sap and uh, blind, you know, shit like that. But like, even then, it's just pretty chill. But you gotta be careful, though. I feel like some dungeons, if you over aggro as rogue, you can just get killed. Like certain trash, like strat on that trash, it's really hard. Like, you gotta watch out for the fear, too. I mean, if you use trinket, though, you can trinket fear, right? Now, but you gotta sap in DMT. It's dangerous. You can sap, you get out of stealth. Unless you're playing sub. But you don't. That's kind of your job if you're doing uh, DMT, right? Do we jump down after this? Or is it too dangerous? I think it's dangerous to jump. I've seen someone die. He jumped down. And no one followed him. And he just died to the spec. Yeah, I don't think you want to jump, boys. <laughs> There's a lot of mobs there. You have to clear all of it. Yeah, if you pull the boss, they just run to him and you die. Um, that's, that's how some people wipe. Dude, we are so good on time, by the way. I, I, like, it's gonna be done like 30 minutes max. Why did you guys say this dungeon takes three hours? That's not true. I mean, I guess we're a bit high level, some of us, but still, like, the leaving spurs, yeah. Hell, even BRD doesn't take three hours nowadays. Like, no, jokes aside. Like, for BRD to take three hours, you need to uh, do the uh, Onyxia attunement, I think. Uh, that, that, and then do the uh, Saving Princess as well. Like, then it takes three hours, but. If you don't do that. But the best thing to do here is to clear all the trash and then kill the troll boss. Because when you kill the troll boss, three dragons spawn. And it's annoying to deal with the dragons when the trash is still up. You know. So, that's you can always just clear all the, the trash mobs first. Uh, I don't think we need to kill, like, th this uh, Hakari thing, right? Unless you guys got the egg. I don't know if you have the egg. But there's no point going there without the egg. Oh, you have it? Nice. All right. We got the egg boys. Is this boss dangerous? I've actually never fought him on hardcore. Awaken the soul flare. Well, he he's called flare, so he probably like attacks three times, right? Oh shit. Yo, this is some 666 shit, boys. There he is. Is he gonna come? Use blood. Elrond. On fire. We're locked in here, by the way. I have no idea what's happening, chat. Oh, do you have to like turn off all the fires? Ah, so these blood keepers drop blood, and then you loot the blood, and you turn off the fire. So, what does this boss do? Because I feel like he's gonna be hard. Like, surely, like, you spend all this effort to summon him, like, he's gonna be, like, tanky or something, right? He's not gonna die. Is he gonna die in five seconds? Oh, shit. He is stunnable. So, 
challenging that I'm needing on those legs, bro. I, I think that might be better than what I have. That's so much spirit, right? 20 spirit? Nobody needed them. I lose a lot of Vagi, but I gain stamina, armor, and 20... 20 spirits. And I, I'm wearing a dress. Hey, I gotta get something out of it, right? I didn't have the quest, and I'm about to get the legs. I mean, 20 spirit, chat. That's like a lot of uh, health regen, right? Who is the guy that mind controls? It's Jamal, right? Gotta pop all the CDs on him. I'm not going again. I'm just getting a good position. I'm gonna pop all my CDs, bro. Need to make this DPS check. Don't forget to Sunder, bro. Easy, bro. Not today, Jamal. Not today. Okay, watch out for the dragons now, yeah? Apparently, they can knock you guys. Um, don't get knocked into the hole. Oh, shit. Where the fuck did they come from? Yo, oh, mouse pad. You guys want to see my mouse pad? It's from Dragonfly. I got it from Blizzard. Yeah. Actually, uh, my, I don't even know what my mouse pad is, bro. Like, yo, do they come at the same time? Who, 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 who is this rogue, guys? I don't know, like, he seems to be, like, just really good. We're playing golf, bro. Play, playing fucking... Wait, will he kill me? Oh, let, let me not face it to the priest. I mean, I'm taking zero damage, bro. Okay, so this last boss, like, actually fully wipes people. And why does that happen? Like, clue me in, chat. Like, where are things? Like, yeah, okay, here's what I... Wait, wait, wait. Can we wait? Wait, 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 wait one minute. Just wait, wait my cooldowns. Because I can tank this boss in uh, to 33.9k health. He's got more health than BRD bosses. Yeah, you're right. Like, full aggro. He taunted off me. Nice. I got evasion soon. I'm just hold. I'm, I'm, I'm chilling with Tret. Using faint. He dodged my faint! Okay, I'm, I'm going ham. Unleashing the inner demon. Easy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, click this, right? And then click this. One hour, three minutes. It's pretty fast. High level group, though. Average level... 55.4 i'd say it's pretty high yeah i was overreacting how long that raid takes at a dungeon but i mean everybody was saying three hours in chat but i guess they were trolling or maybe that group was just good i feel like double warrior is actually in insanely good for dungeons like that's just how i feel like they do a lot of damage and they can tank from each other so like the healer can like spread healing on them and, and you just go fast I had a similar experience while leveling Patricia. If I did dungeons with warriors, we went down fast. We had we did three warrior ZF. Everyone was like, ah, what a nice, what a shit comp. And then we ended up just like smoking through it. When you have only one warrior, like that, that guy gets clapped way too hard. And then you gotta heal him so much. And then uh, you, just, you just get downtime. 